bro, bro, bro. I'm like actually scared, bro. I'm like actually scared. I'm like actually scared. Anyway, that's not the video. The reason I have this blanket, it's simple. We're watching scary stories. Yes! yes! We're watching scary stories. Grab your snacks. Grab your chips. I didn't bring any of that. Um. But if you care, go ahead because we are going to dive right into the scary stories. And without further ado, let's do this. There was supposed to be a transition. What's up, guys? Scary stories. Yeah, that's that's it. We're doing scary stories. But anyway. This is what we have. A terrifying Oh that's that's just my phone. I'm so sorry. I am I am so sorry. Anyway, a terrifying morning jog story animated by Llama Arts. Let's watch it. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Bro, the text already got me, bro. No, wait, wait, no, 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 the text, bro, bro. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Before heading to my local community, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> I'm already getting scared. All right. Anyway, let's just go. I promise, no more interruptions. Maybe. Community college for classes. I like to wake up at around five in the morning for a brisk morning jog. It helps clear my head and definitely helps wake me up so I can focus in class. When I first started doing this, it was a huge hassle, but over time I grew accustomed to it, and it's now a highlight of my day. Nice. However, as time went on, I found myself becoming quite uncomfortable. Not in a physical sense, but more so it was like my fight or flight instincts began kicking in seemingly at random. I'd whip my head around to see if anybody was following me or even peeking at me through the wooded park in which I ran, but couldn't see anybody. Man, who's gonna come out 5 o'clock in the morning, bro? It's 5 o'clock in the morning, bro. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Go, um... Do, do something. Relax. You don't, you don't have to be doing that so, so early in the morning, bro. Like, who's gonna stalk you early? It didn't help that it was dark, either, so no even if there was somebody creeping in the dark, there was no way I could tell. As an extra precaution, I started carrying around some pepper spray in order to fend off any would-be attackers. But as time went on and that eerie sensation occurred more and more, I just couldn't bring myself to run anymore. A friend of mine, Daniel, a self-proclaimed runner himself, told me that I shouldn't worry about it. He said that the mind plays tricks on oneself when it can't see things clearly, especially in the dark. After being reassured by him, I decided to give jogging another go. So today, like any other day, I slapped on some black leggings, tied my hair up in a ponytail, put on my kicks, and set my music volume to full blast and headed out the door. I felt fantastic at first and was loving the cool breeze and crisp morning air. But then, about halfway into my jog, a tall and hooded figure stepped out onto the path and- She got the pepper spray! Hey! She got the pepper spray! Look at that sp Bro, bro, no question, bro. Just- Bro. No question, bro. No qu- Bro, they don't, don't even try to reason, bro. Just- Just- Gun. Gone. Eyes gone. Somewhere else. Boom. In front of me. Quickly, I pulled out my pepper spray and yelled at the person to leave me alone. The person quickly pulled down their hood, revealing... That ain't funny doing that 5 o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with you? ...themselves to be Daniel. 
I sighed with relief as he approached and laughed at how funny it was that we ran the same path. I expressed to him that I felt safer knowing he was around. Daniel, however, stepped a little too close and gave a crooked smile. He said that of course I was safe with him, as apparently I had been safe with him for weeks. The realization of what he meant quickly dawned on me as his hands began to creep their way around my waist. I screamed at him to let me go and prepared to spray him. Spray him! Spray him! But he slapped it out of my hand oh and proceeded to grab my throat. With strained screams, I begged him to let me go and for someone to help me. He yelled at me and tightened his grip, asking why I wasn't thankful for his watchful eyes for the past several weeks. I was stunned at the complete personality change. Wait, so he's been stalking her? Oh, heck no. <laughs> what? No. From the once gentle friend I knew. Pretty soon, I started to black out and grow weak. But just before passing out, I could hear the sounds of dogs barking and an older man screaming for Daniel to let me go. In a panic, he released me and ran back into the woods. Bro, I gasped for air before I began sobbing as the man why escorted- are you sobbing, bro? Oh bro, why would you go somewhere safe first? Like, run to your house or something? It's like sitting there crying, like, like, <laughs> but bro, you should just go somewhere safe first, and then you can go, then you can go cry. Like, come on. Come on. ...boarded me out of the park and brought me straight to the police station. And yes. despite my fears and reservations, I told them everything I knew about Daniel, or what I thought I knew, and what he had done to me. They immediately sent a patrol car out and told me that everything would be okay. The next day, I heard Daniel never showed up to class. He had been arrested several hours later after I left the police station and confessed to everything with a disgusting amount of self-righteousness. He was recorded as saying, She needed me. Only I can protect her. Who knows what could have been hiding in those woods. It took me a while to feel comfortable going back to school, and even then, my trust in people was never the same again. I guess even the ones you were close to can snap, just like that, at any time. Dang. Jeez, bro. Well, that was tough. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, bro. Personally, for me, I, I, I don't do, I don't do morning runs like that. I just don't. It's creepy. It's, it's just so creepy. Anyway, um... Let's get to the second one! This one is disturbing to Snapchat stories animated. Man. Snapchat. I do have a snap, by the way. I do have a snap. It's, um... Super Johnny 117. Yeah, I do have a snap. So, if you want to, you know, have me a snap or whatever, go right ahead. But, but still, though, like, because, like, Snapchat and Instagram, that that's where I, like, I put all of my, like, my stuff. That's where I tell you guys, hey, I'm making a video. So, yeah, just check it out. Don't worry, links in the description. I passed the Reproductive Health Act to protect choice in New York and took on the NRA. This happened a week ago. Up until a few days ago, I went to a small local gym in my now previous New Jersey town called Black Bear Black Fit. Bear, man, the Black Bears be at it in that gym, man. It be. <laughs> Let's go! Yes. One day, I had the misfortune. Hey, Black Man! It's called Black Bear Fitness after all, but you gotta, you gotta get that blackness in. Okay, you know what? Oh, I'll chill, I'll chill. ...of running into some skinny, awkward, yet creepy-looking kid, probably 18 years old. He didn't look like he belonged in a gym at all. I had headphones in and I was doing my set when I heard him saying something to me, but it was muffled by the music. 
I was already annoyed with this kid, given that he was breaking an unwritten rule of the gym. Don't try to talk to somebody when they're doing their sets. That's a real rule? I don't even know that's a real rule. That's, that's, I don't know. That's weird. I took my time finishing my set and then took my headphones out to ask if he needed something. Then he started acting like I looked familiar, but right away I knew this kid was just trying some pathetic attempt at making friends. I assured him I didn't, but the kid wouldn't stop talking to me. I'll skip most of the conversation, but eventually he actually asked me for my Instagram and Snapchat, weirdly enough, and for whatever reason I gave them to him. Instead of just saying something like, buddy, I'm trying to work out, or I don't have social media. After I gave him my Snapchat and Instagram, however, I did kind of urge him to let me resume my workout. He finally seemed to get the message and walked away. Not without saying bye like three times though. I'm just chilling, man. You probably watch sitting there watching the NBA, man. Probably sitting there watching the NFL highlights. You know. That night, I got a snap on my phone saying from. Oh, I just got a text message. Sean. I immediately sighed and said, oh no. Just wondering why the hell the kid would snap me. I opened the snap, and the kid was in a creepy, weird pose, face way too close to the camera, with his head resting in his hand and a half smile on his face. The text over the picture was hey with two Y's. For the record, I'm a guy, which made this even more weird. My thought process was, I've had enough of this loser already. I'm gonna remove him and make it clear I don't want to talk if I see him at the gym again. And so I did. I removed him minutes after he sent that snap. Ew! You watching that? How old is this man? He's probably sitting there watching Baby Shark, like what? Well, I was thinking that he's in the watching the MLB, you know, baseball, the you know, basketball, NBA, watching what, watching LeBron James, so they're watching Patrick Mahomes, bro, and the you know, and football and sport. Man, he watch, he watching Baby Shark. He said they're watching Baby Shark. No, no. This 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 man is different right here. This man is different. Watching baby short like what? I'm sure not even a minute later, again a message popped up on my phone saying Snapchat from Sean. I waited a few minutes before opening it. This one was even creepier. Now the kid was sitting up on his bed, no smile, the surprised, angry expression. The text over the image said, Why did you remove me? Now I went as far as to block him, meaning he couldn't snap me anymore. And that was that. I threw my phone on the desk and sighed out of relief. Half an hour later, my phone goes off, saying Sean added you as a friend, and then Snapchat from Sean. He actually made a new account. I opened the snap and felt my heart drop. It was a picture of my front lawn. The text over it, answer me, bitch. The first thing I could think of was, how did he find my address? Then I realized, Snapchat made that new map feature that lets you see where your friends are. Somehow, I had the balls to open the window to see outside. It was clear out there. I shut the window and the blinds and started considering calling 911. Yeah, dude. It was the sound of taps on the window. I took a deep breath, and with one swift motion, I pulled up the blind and the window at the same time and pulled the kid into my room by his neck. I punched him in the face a few times before he was out cold. Bro, this is why you work out, but you gotta get that. Mm. You know, you gotta get that. You gotta get that. You gotta, gotta, you gotta, you gotta, one, two, like, like, whoa, bro, one, two, sleep, one, two, knockout, man. That's you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta get that, mm, there, you gotta get that, mm, mm, this is why you, this is why, mm, this is why you work out, man, this is why you work out, yeah, you, you gotta sit there and protect yourself, man, mm, 
I like this guy. Even though he sits there and watches Go Fishy Go or or whatever, ba ba baby sh baby fish or whatever. Still got muscles, man. Other than skinny arms, he got muscles, man. Mm. Now I called 911. By the time they arrived, he was awake, cursing me out, promising he'd be back and kill me. The cops heard it all. I didn't even have to make a case. The kid was an idiot. Luckily, the timing of this worked out well, because I just moved a couple days ago out of state. Only thing that worries me, I don't want to have to make a new Snapchat account, but anytime somebody new adds me on the app, I'll never know if it's secretly that Sean kid again. That's dark, bro. Jeez. But anyway, that's pretty much it, the video. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't really have an outro for this, so. Um. <laughs>